Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I am back with another Bible journaling process using the Advent or Grace and Gratitude Kit from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. I am working on week two, so I'm looking at the Love Devotional. I'm going to link my other video down below. It kind of explains how I'm using this kit and tackling Bible journaling through this month. I'm not doing journaling every single day. Um, I'm just popping in and using this kit um, once a week, trying to do it on the Sunday since that's the Advent Sunday. So I'm looking at the love card today and we are in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 7 through 8. And this is a passage that a lot of you might be really familiar with. Um, the, you know, love passage. A lot of you may have even had this part of your wedding vows. You may have it on a sign in your house. Um, I did a um, spoke at a women's retreat all about this passage of verses. So I've done a lot of studying in this set of verses. So I'm not going to take a whole lot of notes um, for this one because I've done a lot of studying on it on the past. So I'm just going to create a really simple entry, um, mostly using the things that come in the kit. This kit is sold out, unfortunately. And uh, I have been notified that the January kit will be releasing really soon. I, I'm thinking sometime this week. So uh, follow me over on Instagram at lindsaydecor413 and I will announce when that uh, kit goes live. But I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and we're just going to put together a simple entry uh, here in 1 Corinthians. Okay, so most of this entry is going to be very similar to the entry I did for Hope. So I will link that down below. I'm using a lot of the same products and things like that. So I am flipping my illustrating Bible around so it's just the one page on my tabletop. That's kind of the nice thing about this uh, spiral bound Bible. And that way when I do all of my stamping, I know I'm going to get good impressions. So uh, I'm pulling out the tree from the stamp set. And most of the inks I'm using are the uh, pigment inks from Creative Retreat Kits. They pair really well with the colors of this kit and they're a pigment ink so they don't bleed through the Bible pages. And these particular ones are actually permanent once they are dry which is awesome. So I'm stamping those little trees which end up mostly getting covered up but I don't know that at this point in time. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of assemble this like I said very similar to that other entry. I am working in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Uh, it's verse 7 and the first part of 8 says, Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes, uh, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And one of the prompts on the devotional card there um, suggests replacing the word love with Jesus or God. Um, and so that would read, uh, Jesus bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, Jesus never ends. Uh, and just, you know, remembering that that love comes from God. And one thing I talked about at the women's retreat that I spoke at on this was um, this idea that God's love is not meant to end with us. Um, we are actually a vessel to carry God's love to others. So his love comes into us. He gives us his love. But then we're to let that flow through us and out into others. And so especially during this time of year, um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I just have days where I want to be a Grinch. <laughs> it can be really stressful and there's a lot going on. But just to remember that uh, always, but this time of year especially, to let God's love flow out of us and into others and just be extra nice, be extra loving, um, go out of your way. Um, that sacrificial love, that's what that's supposed to look like. And so just to remember that during this uh, during this time of year. So there's a lot that goes into these verses. I, of course, could talk to you for 40 minutes about it, but <laughs> I just can't do that on this video. So I'd encourage you to look into the commentary and do some studies um, on this passage here. So you can see at the top, I did that same little cluster that I did on the last entry um, with the little wreath there. And then I went back in with a brush marker and added some pink details to the berries. And that just kind of spices up that uh, stamp so it's not just one color. And then I paired a couple of the stamps so it says a season of love and stamped that in that wreath. And that's something I'm going to do for all four of these weeks, um, just creating that little icon at the top of the page there. I have one of the tabs that came in the kit and I'm going to layer that with some of this plaid washi. I've been on the hunt online trying to find something similar to this and I haven't found something that I like 
as much as I do as this particular plaid washi. It is getting used in everything <laughs> this month. Uh, above the little deer here, I'm going to create a title. And so I'm looking at the stickers. Um, these are the Maggie Holmes stickers that you could have gotten with the kit. If you did not get the kit, you can get these stickers um, from scrapbook.com. I will link that down below. Um, they're a really great size for Bible journaling. And as I lay that down, I'm noticing that I'm kind of having an issue with the shadowing from the other side of this page. So I outlined some stickers, and it's not bleed through, but it's definitely shadowing and that's right where my title is going to go. So I decided to pull out some acrylic paint. Um, I can't remember what color this is. It's a pale pink from Target and kind of use the um, Elaine Davis baby wipe method and swipe that paint over that area. And it's not 100% opaque, but it's enough to kind of let the title pop out and not conflict with the stickers on the back side of this page. So now I can go ahead and um, layer things up. I have that word overflowing. Um, that is one of the die cut punch outs from the kit. I also use the word love um, up on the tab up there. And so this is going to say overflowing love from the spirit. Uh, I thought about stamping from the, but I decided to pull out the Tim Holtz label letters. These are my favorites um, and stick with just stickers. And that really brought in some more of that black that paired with that washi tape. So that worked out. Uh, I had this little scrap of tape on my desk that I had torn off of the tab. And so I layered that underneath overflowing and that just kind of helped it um, work with the title there. And lastly, it's just adding in my journaling lines. So I'm using a T ruler to give myself some lines. I'm looking at the verse again, looking at the prompts to get an idea of how many lines I'm going to need. It's always hard drawing them in from the bottom up. You're just not quite sure how many you need, but it works out. And then what I did is I just copied down the verse, like it said, with the prompt by replacing the word love with Jesus. So I just wrote that out and then also wrote just a really quick one line little prayer um, in response to prompt number two. And there was this little heart stamp in the set here, and I really wanted to include it on this page since we're talking about love. So I decided to go ahead and stamp it in that blue ink. Um, at the end of my journaling there just to bring in some more of that blue. I love the shape of that heart. It's super cute. Uh, highlighted the verse, added a date, and that was it. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to uh, leave those down below for me. Check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned. Um, stay tuned. Be sure to be subscribed to my channel. I will have an unboxing of the newest kit later on this week, and those are selling out really quickly, so you don't want to miss that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.